So, hi guys. Welcome to Working Those Cues. Uh, coming to you with my CVS haul for the week. Now, I know that this video will be up late. But this is actually sort of like a tutorial, a brief tutorial. Because uh, I only have 20 minutes to do this. <laughs> on, you know, how CVS works. So, I'm going to be talking in length about, you know, the Extra Bucks program and things like that. And the CRTs and things like that. Uh, this is for someone in particular so that they can get the gist of uh, how things work. The CBS app and things like that. So, uh, let's get started. Um, the first thing I want to say is that the first thing that you must do is apply for you a CBS card. Um, I know we had talked previously and I said it was okay to use maybe your somebody else's card, but you don't want to do that because you don't you won't get access to the apps and you need the actual card. So we want you to go into CVS and we want you to apply for a card. Now I know back in the day you were able to get a card right then, but I'm not sure about now if they just give you a temporary card and they send you information off so that you can link up everything. I'm not sure how that works, but you have to go in and get you a CVS reward card. Once you do that, um, you want to download the CVS app to your phone. You want to link the card to the app so that you'll have access to app-only coupons that come available at CVS. These are coupons that you can only get if you have the app downloaded. Um, there's also manufacturer coupons as well that can go along with those app coupons. And I'll go over that with uh, one of the products that I got today. Um, so that is the first step. And what you want to do is you want to go into the CVS store and scan your card until the coupons stop coming out of the red coupon machine. I call it the red box. But scan it until it stops giving you the coupons. Those are your CRT cash register tape that is your crts these can be used along with any manufacturer coupons that you may have so you can pair them up okay and i've done that with some of the things that you'll see here as well i'll give you an example of that okay so let's go ahead and get started um matter of fact i can show you one mine didn't come off all the way so i don't know i scanned and scanned but i still had some at the end of my receipt so if you don't scan it uh enough times you will still get your crts but they will just be at the end of your receipt and this is what they look like see four off of 15 dollars worth of cosmetics so for instance if i have a revlon manufacturer coupon out the paper on sunday for some lipstick and I want to buy two tubes of Revlon lipstick and I want to use two of my manufacturer coupons along with this. As long as the price adds up to $15, I can use this for off of $15 with those two Revlon coupons towards my lipstick. Alright, so that's an example of how you use those CRTs. So let's go ahead and get started. And I do have the ad for this week so I can kind of show you what I've done. The first transaction I did was the spin 30 get 10. So this simply means that I have to spend $30 before coupons um, to get a $10 extra book. So meaning that as long as before the cashier scans my coupons, my total comes to $30 um, and that is before taxes too. So it has to be 30 before taxes. Um, I will get a $10 extra buck back when I buy these products, okay? So what I decided to do was get one Sky paper towel for $9.99, one cotton nail for $9.99 with up to $20, one um, OxyClean, and I don't have it sitting up here. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, so I got the OxyClean for $3.99 and three boxes of Kleenex for $4.00. So right now I'm up to $20, $24, So okay, I got a I went ahead and got the right guard. Buy one, get one free. So I ended up paying $4.99 for the two right guards. So that made me hit my 30. Okay. So I did the spent 30, get 10 in this transaction. And I'm gonna tell you everything that I use. All right, so for the Kleenex, I had a 50 cent off of three. 
for the right guard. I had a dollar off of each one. And remember, it was buy one, get one free. So I paid $4.99 for the both of them. So $2.99. Then I also had a, uh, let's see what I had. Bear with me, y'all. I had a, where is it? I want to say it was a two off of three. Two off of three dollars, right, right guard. Hold on one second. Okay, yeah, I had a dollar off of any five dollars worth of right guard. So I actually had three dollars off of that four ninety nine. So I paid one ninety nine for the two of them, or ninety nine cents each. But keep in mind that I am getting a ten dollar extra buck for spending thirty. Okay, so let's see. All right, um, for the cotton nail, I had a seventy five cent off coupon. For the Scott, I had a fifty cent off coupon. For the OxyClean, I had a $2 off coupon. I also had a $4 off of $30. So, um, and I went into this with $15 worth of extra bucks. So, I rolled extra bucks that I got from last week. And extra bucks are the, the money that you get back from buying certain products. See, like I'm going to get the $10 back for the spend 30 Well, I had $15. Um, and I hadn't been to CVS in a while, so I really had to use that $15. So that went towards this transaction as well. Also, like I said, I had a four off of 30 as well, and I used that. Um, let's see what else I had. Okay, so in this same transaction, I decided that since I rolled $15, I wanted to get $15 back. So I got the I knew that I was gonna get the 10 back for spending 30. So I went ahead and I did the Aleve deal. Now, the Aleve deal, let's see. The Aleve deal, as you can see in the paper, was spend 25, get 5. So, I put that with the spend 30, get 10 deal. So, you can do as many different deals as you want. And these deals, you can only do one time. Okay? So, if you see in the corner right here, I picked up two bottles of 80 count of Aleve PM. Y'all, we use these a lot. So, I went ahead and picked those up. And they will buy one, get one 50% off. So for one of them, I paid, let's see, $16.29. And the other one, I paid $8.14. But I had a four off of 15 CRT that spit out the red box um, off of any pain medication. So that took off $4 right there. So I was at $24 and some change. And I thought... That I will still get my ten dollars, but we'll get to that. So, um, I, I use the four off of fifteen of off of any pain medication for the Aleve. I also had two four dollar off each one manufacturer coupons, so that took off twelve dollars right there. So it was as if I paid uh, twelve dollars and some change for the two bottles of PM plus. I am getting $5 back, so $7 and some change for a $16 bottle of Aleve PM, okay? For two of them, $7, okay? Um, so anyway, the story behind that is that, of course, if you look at my receipt here, it says I didn't reach the $5 extra buck because I was $0.57 cents short. Now, in some cases, there's an 80% rule where you can uh, do this and you'll still get your extra buck. But in this deal, I did not. So I had to, at the end of both of my transactions, I rolled a $5 extra buck and bought another Aleve, um, paid $4, and I got the $5. So I'm going to add $4 on to the total that you see here. Uh, because I did get $5 back for the uh, extra bottle of a leave to complete the deal to get my $5. And I didn't have a coupon for that because the coupons I had only called for 80 to 100 count. So I threw the leave muscle and back in and I got 
uh, a five dollar extra buck back. So anyway, so I'm gonna add the four dollars that I did for the separate transaction. So you could say that I paid twenty six dollars or twenty seven dollars for everything that you see right here. Twenty seven dollars out of pocket. Of course, that's not what my receipt says because I have to add in the other transaction for four dollars and something. It says twenty three dollars and eighty cents. But like I said, I had to add that on. So. So I paid $23 for everything that you see here, but I got back $15. So I only paid $8 after receiving back $15 in extra bucks for everything that you see here. $8, y'all. Okay? That is not even one bottle of the leave because the one bottle of leave was $16. So <laughs> that is an amazing, amazing deal. It says here on my receipt that I say received $59.66. Let's see on this receipt because this is where I got the other elite. I'm sorry, y'all. And I saved $5 on that separate receipt. So really, uh, we could say $66 is what I saved on this. So $7 after my extra bucks back, y'all. And that's how you do uh, CVS. So that is one transaction. And I'm going to share with you my second transaction. So, okay, guys. I did two transactions today. So this is my second transaction. You are looking at... Uh, it says I saved $68.88. And I actually paid $16.56. So the total was about... 78 about 80 some odd dollars about 85 dollars okay so 85 dollars worth of stuff right here that you see okay so um let's get started the irish spring was 3.99 when you buy three you get a five dollar extra buck so i purchased three of them which would have been about what 12 dollars so, I had $3 off coupons that came out of last week's paper. So, that made it $9. And then I had, oh, let me say this. I went into this transaction with $10 in extra books because I hadn't gotten the five back yet from the other leave. So, I'll add the five to what I walked out the store with. So, I went into this transaction with, five, with $10 in extra books from the previous transaction i rolled the extra bucks and you can do that um so anyway the irish spring i had the three dollars off so that brought it down to nine dollars then i had a dollar off a dollar fifty off of any six dollar body wash crt that spit out the red box machine so i was able to use that so four dollars and fifty cents off of the uh we just gonna say the twelve dollars, so it ended up being what eight dollars and some change, and I got back five. So basically, a dollar each for the Irish Spring, okay? And body wash goes towards Beauty Bucks, I think. Um, I'm gonna have to check the list because I think some change things change with the Beauty Bucks. That's another thing. Every thirty that you spend, every thirty dollars in beauty that you spend, you get a three dollar extra buck back. All right, so I did that. Uh, in this transaction the second deal that I did was a freebie um, every so often CVS will give us a five dollar off of any fragrance uh, purchase and these were five dollars off of $9.99 so it was $4.99 and I had a five dollar off coupon so it was free and it's just an imitate imitation perfume uh so i love clinny happy that's one of the first perfumes that my husband bought me when we were dating um i think it was anyway and so i picked that up and i usually use these for like um in my car and stuff because they don't last really long i mean it's only five dollars and it's free for me so that was a freebie for me um the next thing that i did in this transaction was the toothbrushes they were Let's see. I think $3.99. I'm sorry. I'm not together. Yes, they were $3.99 each, but you got a 
three dollar extra buck back nope sorry not a three dollar extra buck you got a two dollar extra buck back and the limit was two so i was able to get two of those so $3.99 and you get $2 back. So it was $1.99 after the extra books, but I had a dollar off coupon for each one. So that brought it down to $0.99 cents each. But check this. I also had a, that's something you're going to learn when you're couponing. You will not pay for two brushes and toothpaste and things like that. I also had a dollar off of any Colgate toothbrush and a a dollar off of any five dollars worth of Colgate toothbrushes and a dollar off of any manual toothbrushes. So I was able to use both of those CRTs. So that made these absolutely free. Okay. After extra bucks, absolutely free. All right. Um, so the next deal that I did was the speed stick. The speed stick was two for six. I had a dollar off. Nope, wait a minute. The speed stick, I didn't have any any coupons, but there was an app only coupon for let's see how much it was. Three dollars off of any two select uh speed stick deodorant. Then I had a two off of two any speed stick deodorant. So I had five and I had a dollar off of any uh, deodorant. So these were absolutely free. I had three um, CRTs, an app only for $3 off, a two off of any two speed stick for $2 off. That's $5. Then I had a dollar off of any deodorant. That's $6. So I got these absolutely free. All right. Okay. So the next thing that I did was the scope. The scope was on sale for $3.99. Uh, you could do these up to two times. That's why you see two back there. I only had one dollar off of a scope manufacturer coupon that was downloaded to my card. There's also manufacturer coupons that you can download through your CBS app as well. And I had a dollar off of any scope mouthwash so it took off only two dollars so i ended up paying let's see if it was 3.99 that's eight dollars so six dollars but i got back six dollars right here bam so i paid six dollars but i got back six dollars so they were absolutely free after my extra bucks and this is how this works okay see the pattern Okay, so the next thing I did was the Summer's Eve. The Summer's Eve deal was spend 10, get 5. So already, you're getting half back anyway. And I love Summer's Eve, and I love when you have the 10, get 5, because you can't beat that. But I also had a $1.50 off of each one coupon. So my Summer's Eve, the total for the two products that you see here was about, let me see if I can see that. $4.99 and $5.39. So about $10.39. And so I'm getting $5 back. So $5.39. And then $3 with the two coupons. So $2.39 is what I paid after extra bucks for both of these products. All right. So the next thing that I did was the L'Oreal. The L'Oreal was spend 15, get five. So for the L'Oreal, I want to say they were, let's see, two for eight. So I bought, purchased four so I can meet the $15 and get the five back. So I um, purchased four of them and I got back $5, but I had two $3 off coupons, meaning I took off $6 off of that $16. So that I paid $10 plus I had a... Let's see, and I'm trying to hurry y'all because I, what did I have? I had a $2.25 off of any $10 hair care. So with that plus the $6, that's $8.25. Plus I got back $5. So basically I paid a dollar each for each one of the shampoo and conditioners. So in all y'all, I got to hurry. 
I had an 81% savings. I paid $16.56 for everything that you see right here. And I walked out of the store with 9, 6, 11, 16, 21, $26. Paid 16, walked out with $26, y'all. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. So this is a tutorial. If you're a seasoned couponer, you do not need this video. Remember to subscribe, like, thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.